The stability and further development of our societies rely on the availability of a large range of mineral resources, common metals, industrial minerals, and minerals for construction. The consumption of these mineral resources has been growing exponentially over the last hundred years, and the consumption of common metals like iron, copper, and aluminium, for instance, has been doubling since the beginning of the century. In addition, the very fast development of high technologies in the sector of information, telecommunication, computers, transports, and green energy rely also on the use of a large range of metals that were almost not used 40 years ago. At present, Europe consumes about 20% of the metals produced globally, whereas its domestic production is limited to about 5%. This situation raises numerous issues regarding the sustainability of future supply, the evolution of reserves, the evolution of raw material prices, the environmental and social conditions of productions, the capacity of recycling and the end of life of a product. Well, Aerolin is a network supporting research and innovation in the field of mineral resources. The network is composed of about 20 national funding or management agencies from Europe, but also from South Africa and Argentina. Aeromine started as an EU-funded project in 2011 and is interacting with many stakeholders from academia, industry, as well as different European initiatives like the European Innovation Partnership in Raw Materials, the EIT Knowledge and Innovation Community in Raw Materials and different European technology platforms. I would say Aeromine has been very successful so far. We have already published a very important roadmap and launched three joint calls for proposals. And so we are now looking forward to extending our network. Eramin is composed of several member countries that all work together to fund joint transnational R&D projects. In the past three years, we have had three joint calls. The first one in 2013, where five countries pulled together uh, to have a joint call on primary resources. In 2014, we had 13 agencies pulling together resources on primary resources, recycling and substitution. And now in 2015, we have 12 agencies from 12 countries all coming together to fund R&D projects. In total, we've had budgets that is almost 20 million euros that goes to European transnational projects, but also with partners from Latin America. The role of ERAMIN is to promote research that addresses these kinds of issues over the entire raw materials uh, value chain from exploration, extraction, processing, to recycling, uh, as well as various cross-cutting issues like uh, the environmental impact, public policies, international cooperation, formation and training, etc. An important contribution of uh, ERAMIN has been the preparation of a roadmap for future research, for future European research that identified the most important scientific and technical challenges. Um, so these actions uh, can be of short-term and applied research or long-term and fundamental research. The preparation of this uh, ERAMIN roadmap has been a quite long process. It involved more than 100 experts uh, from industry, academia, uh, funding institutions and, and the outcome is um, about 100 uh, page document with six main uh, sections on primary resources, recycling, substitution, public policies, international cooperation and training and various cross-cutting issues. According to uh, Commission, European Commission communication on circular economy, recycling itself can save uh, approximately 600 billion euros for European businesses and at the same time it might mean a reduction of greenhouse gases emissions uh, by 2 or 3 percent on the annual level. During our work, we defined six further subtopics within recycling along the raw material value chain 
during the first and second joint call of Eramin. Five projects and five consortia are directly related to the recycle issues. Another way of reducing the dependency of European industry and society on critical materials is by eliminating or reducing the use of these materials in products and infrastructure and replacing them with other, more abundant materials. This is called substitution. Non-energy and non-agricultural raw materials underpin the global economy and a quality of life. They are vital for the EU's economy and for the development of environmentally friendly technologies essential to European industries. We strongly believe that Eramin can be a key player in that field.